and welcome back to Jason's Macintosh Museum and welcome to part two in this video series on the Macintosh 2FX. So we have the 2FX now set up with a keyboard, mouse and monitor and what we're using is the Apple Color High Resolution RGB monitor, the Sony Trinitron based monitor that uh, would have come with the 2FX when it was new and we also have the Apple Extended Keyboard 2 down here and the Apple ADB mouse over here. So at this point we'll start it up and because this Macintosh model supports soft power we can turn it on with the power key from the keyboard. So we'll just turn the monitor on first and press the power key. Notice how quickly it starts up, even though it's got a full install of System 7.6, it's uh, still quite quick to, uh, to boot up. Okay, we now have the Macintosh 2FX up and running, so we'll have a quick look at and see what's installed on it. So first of all, we'll look at uh, the system software, so we're running System 7.6.1 with 8 megabytes of memory and because the 2FX has a 32-bit clean ROM like the 2CI um, did um, I think the 2CI and the 2FX were the first I think but anyhow because of that you can actually run up to system 7.6.1 so that's what we've got on here now just to show you a few, a few things on the system like the control panels notice how quick the system is running. If you compare it to say a 2CI or a 2CX, it's noticeably faster doing such things as uh, opening up windows and opening up folders and what have you. You can see that it is very, very fast. So what else can we look at? Monitors? Yep, so you can see that on our 824GC video card, because the memory has not been upgraded, we have a maximum of 256 colours to display here, but if the memory was expanded, we would have up to thousands of colours to choose from. So, that's that. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, better, better play some sounds as we always do, of course. Turn it up actually. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, much better. Oh, no recording. Yep. <laughs> it's enough of that. Now, ah, oh, serial. Now, I must admit, I've not noticed this control panel here before. Serial switch. Ah, this would be because of the 2FX. As I mentioned, the 2FX has a special um, chip, a special um, microcontroller that actually offloads the. Um, the serial port um, data from the main CPU. So obviously in this case, this I believe would uh, would actually turn that feature off or enable it, I think. I've only ever seen this on the 2FX, come to think of it, so hmm, interesting. I don't know much else to really talk about here. It's all standard system 7.6 memory. Mm -hmm. Now notice that 32-bit addressing is not shown here because with system 7.6 it has to be enabled by default. So that's about it. Now what we'll do, just to give you an idea as to how much faster a 2FX is over say a 2X or a 2CX or a 2CI even, I'm going to run Norton Utilities system information and run 
the benchmarks that I ran in one of my previous videos just to show you how fast the FX really is. So we have the Moto Cito throw at 40 megahertz, 8-bit Macintosh display card, FPU. So I'll run the full sequence of tests and let's let's see how it compares. Uh, yes, 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 test. So this might take a minute, so we'll uh, we'll come back um, after the tests are complete. Okay, the tests are now complete, so we'll have a look and see how the 2FX rates when compared with other Macintosh models. Now, I think by default, the reference system here is the Power Macintosh 6100-60, which has a rating of 100. Now, I'm wondering if we can set another machine as the reference. Probably not. So, we'll have to look at it in terms of the other machines that were around with the 2FX, like the 2, 2X, 2CX, and 2CI. In fact, you can see here that the they benchmark the 2FX at 19.7. This comes at 19.6, so we're pretty much uh, on the money there. But notice, compared with the 2CI, it's almost twice as fast. 11.3 versus 19.6. Now, the 2CI was, up until the 2FX came out, the fastest Macintosh model you could buy. And it was released, I believe, uh, less than a year earlier. So the 2FX, when it came out, really did um, <laughs> really did um, perform a whole lot better. It was a, certainly a much faster system. And if you go back and compare it with, say, the 2CX or the 2X, which are essentially the same system, just in different cases, you can see that the 2FX was nearly, well, more than twice as fast and almost three times as fast. 7.98 compared with 19.6, so certainly two and a half times the speed. So again, uh, the 2FX was, uh, was quite a revolution when it, when it came out. And um, of course, if you compare it to, uh, well, the, <laughs> the Macintosh SE, with the old 8 megahertz 68,000, we're talking a, a 20 fold speeding improvement. <laughs> so, certainly a very powerful system. But, of course, when the Quadra machines came out in 1991 with the 040 CPU, you can see that they offered a worthwhile improvement in speed over the 2FX. But, as I mentioned, it wasn't until 1993 when the Quadra 840AV came out with a clock speed that matched the 2FX, in this case 40 megahertz, but in this case it was a 40 megahertz 040, not an 030. If we look at, say, CPU, again we can see that in terms of CPU power compared to the 2CI, it was, well, more than, well, almost twice as fast and certainly more than probably two and a half times the speed of the 2CX. In terms of video, again, certainly say a eh, noticeable improvement over the two, uh, 2CX, but interesting to note, the 2CI actually in this case has a better score for video. Not sure why that was. It could well have been because the 2CI had on board uh, video. Not quite sure, but. Hmm. And for disk. Now, interestingly enough, this machine doesn't do as well on the disk benchmark as the reference 2FX. So probably down to the disk that I'm using in this, which probably isn't the original disk, but having said that, the SCSI system on the 2FX is certainly very, very quick. And for the FPU, so we can see that it's about twice the speed of the FPU in the 2CI. So not, uh, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, don't save. Okay. What we'll try next is 
a program uh, from my stash of old Macintosh programs. This one, the Claris Works Office for Macintosh. Now, for those of you who don't know about um, Claris Works Office, it was really a competitor to Microsoft Office back in the day. Although, given Claris has had a long history of developing software for the Mac, generally I think the Claris Works um, software at the time was actually uh, more popular. Anyway, let's uh, let's start it up. Okay, we want to do, well, let's look at word processing. Mm. Just a standard word processor by the looks of it. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy there. No. <laughs> there we go. Mmm, that's more like it. <laughs> okay, well that's uh, that's the word processor. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's make a drawing. Uh, okay, so your standard uh, drawing package with your. Uh, there's drawing tools and uh, what have you. It's all pretty, uh, pretty simple there. Hmm. Uh, painting. Ah, so it's just drawing with uh, a few more uh, extra tools. Hmm. <laughs> oh, colours. Oh. <laughs> hmm. As you can see, I I can't draw. <laughs> That's right. We'll sort that out. We'll just uh, we'll just do that. Ah, oh. <laughs> something to fill the whole thing in. <laughs> oh, that's drawing. What else have we got? Spreadsheet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looks uh, simple enough. Hmm. So I don't see an option to. Uh, oh, make chart. There we go. Let's make a chart. Oh, the... Can we graph this? Uh, make chart. Mm hmm. Yeah, line. Yeah, line graph's good. Oh, there we go. Mm hmm. There's a line graph. Yep. <laughs> Strangely enough, though, I can't uh, modify charts. How do you change the type of chart? <laughs> Pretty simple. Uh, what else have we got? So let's see what sort of fun uh, paste function. Here we go. Now we've got all the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, what else have we got? Database. Okay, to find the field name, field type. I'm too lazy to do that. Um, done. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, it's pretty. Uh, it's got pretty much everything you need. Communication stock. Ah. <laughs> so I've not even set up any modems. <laughs> Oh, well, that's the, uh, hmm. well, that's uh, Claris Works. Pretty much got everything you need. I wonder, though, if we go back to our Word document, can we save it? Oh, you can. You got all the different, oh, good. You got all the different uh, Microsoft file formats there. That's good. Actually, if we go back to our... Uh, um, how do we get up? Oh, um, spreadsheet. Can we save this as an Excel document? Yes, you can. That's good. Hmm. 
Okay, well I think that's probably enough of that. Nope. Nope. Notice the one thing it doesn't have is a companion to, or, or a um, comparable product to Microsoft PowerPoint. Let me go back in one more time. It's funny, it has almost everything else you need, but it doesn't seem to have a presentation program like PowerPoint. Maybe I missed it. Using drawing paintings for each other. No, it's, it's not there. No? Hmm. Oh, it looks like Microsoft, Microsoft Office is a uh, slightly uh, more complete solution, but there you go, that was uh, Claris Works Office. So, I think at this point we'll shut down. Oh, and the camera's decided not to focus. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, that was a demonstration of the Macintosh 2FX from 1990. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you for watching.